Hi guys and welcome to the Skyrim focused update to my video regarding the new Nexus Mod Manager profile feature and how it compares to Skyrim Mod Organizer. And if you're wondering why a Skyrim specific update, that is because Skyrim does have some mods that do require a little, well, they require something a little out of the ordinary. And in fact, it's something I should have covered in that video, and I have to admit, the only reason I didn't is I just didn't think of it. I have not played Skyrim for a while, and I used two or three other games as testing for the tool, and it completely slipped my mind that there are a few mods in Skyrim that could cause the profiling system a little trouble. So, what sort of mods am I talking about? Well, I'm talking about mods that use executables or jar files to create either patches or other resources that the, the game uses. So, animations, uh, perhaps merge patches, that type of thing. And a good example would be Forest New Idols in Skyrim, which has an executable that takes all the mods you use that are Finis compatible and creates the animations that you need. Or if you use Skyrim, there is the Reprocker that you run and it creates a compatibility patch for all of the other mods that you have and makes them compatible with Skyrim. These are all mods that create files that were not there when you installed the mod. And this can be a big problem for any profiling system. I mean, essentially, the profiling system handles the mods that you installed. But these are mods you create from the tool itself, usually, or from either the command line or by manually going into your Skyrim data folder, finding the, the proc patcher and running it yourself. These are files that are a little harder to handle. And indeed, such mods were a problem for Mod Organizer at first. Mod Organizer now allows you to import a lot of these tools, run them from Mod Organizer, and then go through a process where any of the files that are created go into an overwrite, and you use that to create your own little mods. So you can see here under my Richard the Librarian profile, I actually have a whole mod that is just the result of the reprocker being run. It is a it is a reprocker patch that is very specific to this particular profile. So obviously how such mods are handled in Nexus Mod Manager under the profile system is going to be an issue. And I've spent quite a bit of time playing around with various mods of this nature, and I've even had a little chat with one of the devs of Nexus Mod Manager, and I can give you my first impressions about how this is going to affect profiling on Nexus Mod Manager, at least at the moment. Overall, from what I saw, it looks like they are handling most of these type of mods. Some of them are actually already built into Nexus Mod Manager quite well. Finis, for example, is handled very, very well. Others are handled, well, you have to do a little bit more manual work and there may be some issues. It's a mixed bag at the moment. What I would say is they do seem to be very aware of these type of mods and they are working on creating systems and processes that will work for Nexus Mod Manager with these mods. So you should expect quite a lot of changes in, in the near future, actually. And if for some reason you are watching this video but you've no interest in profiles and you're wondering how this is going to affect you if you're using just one profile, not at all. Nexus Mod Manager, if you're just using Nexus Mod Manager for a single profile, if you're not using the profiling system basically, it's just business as usual. Just install all of those mods the way you've been installing them. They will work. The, the issues are only there if you switch between profiles whilst you've got some of these mods installed. And as I said, none of the issues are unsolvable. Uh, they just, they're a little less smooth than with Mod Organizer. But at the same time, it is early days for Nexus Mod Manager and its profiles. So I should expect it only, you know, it will only get better. However, 
Um, having said that, I will I will now start showing you some of the things I found so you can get an idea, a feel for the type of issues you may or may not have when using Nexus Mod Manager's profile system with these type of mods. The first thing I will tell you about is Finesse. Finesse is actually already handled by Nexus Mod Manager. If I click on the settings and go to supported tools, if you fill in where Finesse can be found here, it will appear in this drop-down menu. And I can launch it and then run Finesse as I want. Dead easy. You'll probably also have seen that I have Body Slide 2. That appeared automatically as soon as I installed the mod and can be run from inside Nexus Mod Manager as well. And indeed, if I switch profiles from my Jump profile to my Spells profile, it actually detects that Finesse is installed and asks me if I want to run it again. It's a good idea to do so as things may have changed. In fact, they have changed. So I click yes, run it, select whichever options you need, and I am done. For mods such as Dual Sheath Redux, I still have to go along to the procker itself and just run it. And then once it has been run, go along to the plugins and enable it. The mod or the, um, the guys working on it have told me they are going to add support to add this to the drop down menu so I don't have to keep going into the data folder, which obviously will be very nice. There is at the time of making this video one tiny little bug with regards to this. If I switch to the spells um, profile, rerun finesse, I don't have dual sheath redux enabled for this particular. A profile, but if I go to plugins, as you can see, it's actually got dual sheath redux patch enabled. This is a bug, they do know about it and do intend to fix it. So, obviously, after you switch a profile, do a quick check and make sure such files are not enabled if you don't have that mod. The idea is the that Nexus Mod Manager actually detects these patches and saves them specific to the profile. So when switching between profiles, it will it will move out to the patch for one profile and hopefully move in the patch for another profile, at least if I'm understanding what the dev said correctly. But as I said, there seems to be a small issue there. However, keep your eyes open for bug fixes and that type of thing. They're coming thick and fast at the moment. So my guess is this issue may even have been fixed by the time you're listening to this video. I also asked about the possibility to flag certain files as being profile specific. So for example, if I actually put an ESP in here myself or you know some type of file where I want that file as being part of my profile and I was told that that is a feature they intend to implement in a future release. So as you can see, they are aware of some of the issues with these special types of mods and are trying to add features to enhance the profiles uh, specifically for those. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that is it for this video. My apologies for even having to have made this. I should have covered this data in the original video. Uh, I will try not to do it again. And I hope this information was useful to you. And I will see you next time.